Now an incredible local story about rediscovery. News Channel 5's Kristen Scovera tells us about a local gallery owner's keen eye that helped bring a painting back home. Is that how you get most things? Yeah, most things need to be kind of restored. Stan Mabry says every painting has a story. Historical perspective from it. Mabry is the founder of the Stanford Fine Art Gallery. Just the different layers of meaning uh, in a work of art. It was 30 years ago he first began collecting photographs of artists working in their studios. I found two. They were by Willie Betty Newman, who was an uh, American painter that was from Murfreesboro. Willie Betty Newman was a Tennessee painter who lived in the 1800s. She traveled to Paris to study with master painters and submit work to the Salon de Paris. Mabry loved the local connection. He bought the photo, and that was that. Uh, in 1897. Well, until recently. I'm from Nashville. I'm in New York City on the Upper East Side. He was in New York and saw a familiar painting. I looked on the wall and there was a painting by Willie Betty Newman, and that pretty much started started the story. It was Newman's painting called The Foolish Virgin, like the painting visible in the photo he had purchased so many years ago. The painting had disappeared into a private collection and hadn't been seen in more than 130 years. He acquired the painting and brought it back to Tennessee. The picture on the easel is The Foolish Virgin. Miss Newman painted a wonderfully beautiful picture given me in 1897. So That's three decades after buying the photo, never expecting to encounter the painting itself, he had both, the painting and the photo, in their home state for the first time in history. Story that came full circle. Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5. It's a great story, and the painting was recently purchased by a museum. For more information about the gallery, you can visit newschannel5.com.